foot problem. How, how badly has it affected him? No, but I, I've literally minutes ago just chatting to him about it, and uh, he has a, acute bursitis, which uh, apparently is affecting the, the back of his heel. People normally get it in, in their elbows, but it's basically a, a sack of fluid that causes severe kind of irritation, and it's got to be sorted, because I, I said to him, will you be all right for the match play? And he went, oh, yeah, I, I think I'll be fine. So he, he thinks that he's, he can cope with it. So that, that's something. Luckily, it's on his training foot and not his standing foot. If it was on his standing foot, I don't think he would be playing in this, this tournament. Howell Holland there, uh, Rod Harrington and Rod Stud in commentary. Thank you, Dave. Not only darts expertise from Mardle. Also, a bit of anthropology and medical science. Barney then an MVG, despite Van Gerwen's overwhelming favourites to deal with the Czech Republic. This is Frantisek Humpala with the flowing locks. 58. This part there is Karel Sednacek. But really, it should be all about Van Gerwen and Van Barnevel. So, so distraught at losing in the final last year to Adrian Lewis and Phil Taylor. They were devastated, Rob, weren't they? Well, Rarely seen two great players like that. So, so devastated. You're right, but that, that just shows you how much it means when you put that national shirt on. And uh, Michael's a newcomer. Relatively a newcomer to the game, where Barney's been there a long time, and I think Michael wanted it so much because he was literally winning everything, and st still is apart from well, apart from Gary Anderson out in Dubai. But uh, Michael is the man of the moment. So 76 to wrap this first leg up, double eight. Oh. Bad foot, no, no bad foot. That's a pretty tidy leg from the Dutch. Well, the, the good thing is here, he's not having to play the best of 13 sets in a World Championship final or the best of 35 oh, lengths World Match Play finally. He could be off here in 15, 20 minutes and get his feet up, literally, to uh, give it a bit of a, give it a rest. 96. Yes, and also, as Wayne said, Dr. Mardle, I should say, <laughs> um, said it's on his trailing foot. If it was on that leading foot, then that is a problem. Because all the weight right on that heel on the front foot can be a, a bit of a problem. Barney, well, this throw hasn't changed in all the years that we've known him. 100. As smooth as silk. And been playing really well. Playing a lot more tournaments instead of so many exhibitions. He's playing a lot more tournaments. It's keeping his edge. 45. Problems for old hop along up there, is there? Doesn't matter about the feet. As uh, Phil Taylor once said, you don't throw darts with your feet. Well, I don't think we're going to see him do a dicing parody when he hits him on 80 or a double. We won't see him prancing around. Not quite there from Raymond. The treble would have left the 50. double. Both these Czech players on debut at the World Cup, but. What a thrill to be up there playing against the, the world champion and one of the greatest players who's ever picked up a dart. 100. Well, I would 75. see it as a great draw for him, Rodgers, yeah. because of exactly what you said. Double top now, 4-2-0. Oh. Nothing Neville. wrong with Michael Van Gerwen's arm. Berlang, Netherlands to throw first. Game on. Yeah, Benito van der Pass was on standby to deputise for the world champ. I'm surprised Benito didn't walk up and just give him a quick <laughs> kick. <you know? laughs> well, everyone wants to see Van Gerwen play, don't they? And uh, big crowd here in Frankfurt. Not Benito. No, he didn't. No. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure 60. anyone else in the draw, at the bottom half of the draw, Chisnall Lewis, for example, would have been delighted if he was unable to play. But it would have been a, such a shame for the fans here in Frankfurt and, of course, 85. everyone watching worldwide on television.
with us here on Sky Sports. Yeah, he's become such a, not only a, an absolutely brilliant dart player, but a large-in-life character, hasn't he? You know, the fist pumps. You see, you see young kids doing it, you know, doing a Michael Van Gerwen. And here we go again. 140. Yeah, the Dutch darting duo, averaging a casual 102. Oh, yes. Oh, oh wonderful oh, arrows oh, from Cavell oh, Sedlacek. Well, that is something to take home with him. 140. Champion for the 124. His nickname is Evil Charlie. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Never did you require 36. Well, here's the world champion looking at 36. And that's 3 0. They're now averaging what? The almost 105. That is exceptional in a test match. Absolutely exceptional. It does help that the 75% on doubles, obviously, because it's the doubles that bring your average down. 140. The Czechs are relishing this battle. 134. Well, there's something faintly ridiculous here about watching a man who's playing on one leg combining with the doyen of Dutch darts here, averaging 107. I mean, it's just ridiculous. 100. Beware the injured data, Rodney. I think that just shows Michael's enthusiasm still for the game. 100. I know he's only a young man and he should should be that enthusiastic. However, to uh, a lot of players may have gone, do you know what? 140. You know, I want to rest it. So not, not, not Michael. 121. Credit though to Sedler Czech, who's hit some big scores, including a max. And to Humpelar, who's hung around in there and wants double 14. Fantastic! That is a world-class finish. And boy, did they enjoy that. And they've every right to. Brilliant. Great to see, Rod. Absolutely brilliant. One of them's hit a 180. The other one's taken out a big check out. But Michael Van Gogh says, you're not going to upstage me. Well, we saw Wales tease us with a nine dart possibility. Oh, oh Raymond. Well, you'd have fancied Michael Van Gerwen, wouldn't you? To nail that one for one. We saw Gerwin Price fall at the eighth hurdle for Wales last night. Yes, and it would be something special a nine dart leg in a double match. Well, there we have it, 113 average on doubles. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Well, you, you feel that he could probably average about 120 just sat in a chair. For a 10 dart leg. And you don't see... Many ten dart legs either legs, yeah, when it comes to pairs and oh blimey Bowley's smiling so that's dangerous. Oh that's a big smile as well. Forty. Well it would be nice to see the Dutch finish this off with over the hundred and ten average. It would certainly send out a message, Rodders, wouldn't it, to all the other teams? Absolutely. I mean, they already hold the top three pairs averages at the World Cup. 50. Barney and Michael. Their best is 117.88. That was against uh, Northern Ireland in uh, 2014. 60. Their current average of 111 would put them, well, would be the second best and we'll put them with the best four ever averages in pairs play. 96. 
brilliant stuff, it really is, and the Czechs have played their part. 140. Well, do you know what? If you're going to lose to a team like the Dutch are putting out, you want them to play at the top of their game, don't you? Yeah. You want to say, well, look, this is what they had to do to beat me. And to be fair, they've not been overwrought. They've got up there, they've played their game. Well, they've averaged 90 themselves. They've hit that maximum with Sedlicek. The brilliant finish, the 1-2-1, one, one, which is the highest of the match from Humpala. That's their only dart in a double, mind you. But, you know, they've, they've played well and they've entertained. 45. Never one this could be eight. it. Well, you wouldn't back against him not doing it. Tops it is for the match. 88. Well, the check's not on a finish, so it will fall to RBB to apply that finishing bit of gloss to this wonderful masterpiece of a performance from the Dutch. And in it goes, and Raymond Van Barneval and Michael Van Gerwen treats us to a majestic performance, an average of 109, the second highest ever in pairs play at the World Cup. But fair play to the two Czech debutants, Sevlicek and Humbelar, who entertained along the way and treated us to some terrific errors. But it's Michael Van Gerwen and Raymond Van Barneval who are the favourites for the World Cup, and they're safely through to round two. A Dutch masterclass from Barney Van Gogh, despite that damage for 109.33, 63% on the doubles. He's in a bit of pain, but manages to almost smile. Last 16, the afternoon session, Belgium, Greece, Wales against the Republic of Ireland, Australia, Russia and Singapore, who slayed Scotland, take on Spain. The evening session, Austria, Canada, Germany against Brazil, that'll be an emotional affair. England, South Africa, and the Netherlands against the USA. Some top-class rugby to keep you entertained on Sky Sports. The long-awaited British and Irish Lions tour gets underway Saturday morning. New Zealand Provincial Barbarians, the opponents, 8 a.m.